Kenya. Hello there, I'm Robert. and I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party, and this is actually the first time we're gonna see something that we haven't seen before. At D23 a few years ago, we did end up seeing that trailer that they did end up releasing as their teaser trailer for The Lion King. Yes, so now they'll show more of the movie, which is obviously probably going to same the same tread as the original animated movie. So it'll be interesting to see what else they put in here as far as like live action goes. Looking forward to seeing the characters finally, hearing the voices, because that's the huge difference from the first one yes. to the next one, obviously other than James Earl Jones. Right. But I'm ready to see and feel the new Lion King in their latest trailer now. Life's Elephant graveyard. not fair, is it my little friend? While some are born to feast, others spend their lives in the dark. <laughs> Scar. Should we tell it you for? Begging for scraps. I don't like how light he is. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. So excited, James L. Jones. Zazu! <laughs> While others search for what they can take, a true king searches for what he can give. <laughs> ah, it's oh, so good! The music. Yes. Oh. Oh no! Why did they not show that part too? Oh my gosh! Just <laughs> terrible. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the song is getting to me though. It's my favorite song from the score part of it. You must take your place. <laughs> In the circle of life. Like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit! Ah, they kept it from us. Just a little bit. Which I'm okay with. Just less is fine. Uh, yes. But, yes, getting that, that song, The King of Pride Rock, uh, is... We even use it in the intro video, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of the most powerful moments of the score in The Lion King. My opinion. I think that Hans Zimmer really captured like that essence of that time when uh, you know Simba's walking. And of you're course. Just like, oh. Yeah, you you your heart melts like you, it explodes and melts at the same time. When we saw Hans Zimmer live, they were out there singing it and they did it and they did it different than the way it is in the movie. They played it and then they hit it again like two in a row. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a reprise, if you will. And it was just like, oh, all of us in the arena were just losing our minds. So to get that moment again coming in the movie, as well as seeing it in this trailer, like, I don't even remember what happened in the trailer because the music and the visuals were just hitting my eyeballs and I just, I flooded into just excitement. Oh and man, that nostalgia is just hitting me hard with this movie too. Cause, yeah. I mean, uh, Lion King is probably one of my all-time favorite ones aside, like it's Lion King and Benny the Beast and those two are like my two favorite like on the right? top. So to see them come and do this like new version for a different generation too is gonna be interesting to go and watch. I mean, granted majority of the people that are watching this anyways are gonna be us. Right. And probably bringing along their children, of and course. it's very possible that his children are like, well, I don't want to go see it, but, you know. Oh, they do, because <laughs> the Lion King echoes through the, the eons. Everybody knows Lion King. Uh, and, of course, what they saw with Jungle Book, like, they're more willing to go watch this movie because of what they saw with Jungle Book, and just in terms of the uh, photorealistic CGI that makes it a live-action film. 
Uh, one thing I did notice in this trailer, not a whole lot of uh, mouth syncing to the audio in terms of the dialogue. It's a lot of dialogue is displaced, it's VO, and then it shows the animals kind of walking around doing stuff. And the only time you kind of get close is at the very end when it was Timon and Pumbaa and they were singing the song, but it wasn't really the full-on dialogue. So I'm wondering if they're still trying to figure that out or at least get it perfect before they give it to us. Very true, but uh, there's just certain things that happen in the animated version that you do want to kind of see but then also i hope that they also bring new fare to this as well kind right. of lighten it up change it change some things a little bit if not i mean i know that they probably will tread the same way but uh maybe also bring some new new music or something right too. which i'm sure they'll gonna they're gonna i mean it's gonna have to add a little bit of new life into the the film uh i did like when they showed rafiki though and he kind of did like the heart around the picture of simba versus you know like when he wiped it away and then he goes and he does it again when he puts it across his head but yeah i mean i i seeing zazu I wish Zazu was a little more colorful, but at the same time, I get it. Let's go a little more realistic. I don't like how Scar is not as dark. Like, I was hoping for a little bit of, uh... I mean, he looks ratty. He looks mangy. Like, he does look more so like a lion that's kind of outside of the pride. So, I get it. I completely get it. But come on, I, like, Scar. Scar definitely has a distinct look to him. Yeah. And, uh, I... I I'm kind of missing that when they showed him. I'm like, well, he just kind of looks like a messed up Simba. Like, like, not so much Scar what I envisioned Scar. Very true, but at the same time, I mean, there are a lot of lines out there that look exactly the same. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But come on, Scar looks like Scar. All I want from Scar, though, Who's too, Scar? is basically the part where, I mean, like, if you haven't seen The Lion King, so spoilers, but the part where at the very end when Simba's like, Throw holding his throat when he goes, All right, all right, all right, all right. I killed Mufasa. So, so I hope they <laughs> so they can hear you. Uh, we saw a little bit of Nala as well, yeah. Uh, and then of course, Timon and Pumbaa, I think they look good, they look like a warthog and a meerkat. So, uh, but that scene with the three three levels of them growing, like, uh, if we're gonna get so that, good, that. Yeah, da, 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 you know the song. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, really looking forward to it. Obviously looking forward to the music. I think I'm looking forward to the music more than anything. I think I'm looking forward to the music more than anything as well. Well, mostly the score. I'm right. sure that, that the music music will be kind of, of relatively the same. Probably add a couple new songs to it, but I'm looking forward to seeing how Hans Zimmer can kind of go in and I love change it a little bit. How Donald Glover too was just like when they're like, "All right, you know the words. I will we'll get you the lyrics." He's like, "Come on, like I know the words. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up with this. I, of course, I know all the words." Uh, but yes, that's that's also something I'm interested in. I want to hear their spin. I want to hear Beyonce. I want to hear Donald Glover. I want to hear Billy Eichner and freaking Seth Rogen <laughs> get get their Hakuna Matata. <laughs> On. So I'm looking forward to it. I want to see all the pieces come together. James Earl Jones sounds perfect. Much better. Much better than I think he did as Darth Vader. Like when he was Darth Vader, it was just, you could tell he's aged when they did the voice. Um, they're just... In Rogue One. Yeah, it just, it sounded a little too not Darth Vader. We're here. I mean, there's a delicate... Well, a, a, he was choking on his aspirations. Oh, no, that was Krennic. Uh, there's a delicate <laughs> uh, uh, style to James Earl Jones as Mufasa that is just going to make it even more heartbreaking when the time oh, comes, God. so... Either way, looking forward to it. Can't wait to see more for The Lion King. King. So thank you so much for watching our reaction to the new trailer, official trailer for The Lion King. What did you guys think of it? Let us know down in the comments below what songs, whether it's a score or the soundtrack, are you most excited to hear in this newest rendition of The Lion King? Let us know down there. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kicking the party, fuel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Get us where we need to go. Check out Better Late Than Never. We're going through the MCU right now. The the originals, the OG. We did Iron Man last week. Thor's coming out publicly tomorrow. And then we got Captain America next week. And then, of course, Avengers leading into Endgame. So be on the lookout for those on our channel. Thank you guys so much and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.